dusk awakes, feeling the coolness of the room around her. The curtains are dark, the sun has set once again, and Caterpillar is nudging gently against her hand. Her brother was already awake and spoke of needing water soon. It was downstairs, he could get it for himself. Yet he always seemed more comfortable when dusk was close by. His lizard-like eyes had been more focused as of late. The various medications that Dusk had been able to scrounge so far seemed to be helping with his psychosis. First, the twins would need to eat, and then they would begin their journey northwards to an unknown subway network, hoping to reach a lab Dusk had marked on their map, a part of Mount Auburn that they were yet to visit. What horrors await? Kia ora, Legionnaires, Rikon here, and welcome back to Cataclysm Dark Days Ahead. No hope. With the days here on the farm generally are pretty hopeful for the most part. No mutations for Elliot overnight, and oh, we had a disappearing <laughs> caterpillar for a moment then. Perhaps she was just hiding underneath the chair there for a moment. Yes. Well, let's get our evening started. We'll see whether or not Caterpillar is going to come downstairs with us, but oh, oh, you are. Ah, it's because Elliot, I think, was busy eating meat upstairs. So, you know what, Caterpillar? You can hang out in the house today. So, we do have a lot of smoked meat that we smoked up in the last. We, we did try to eat as much of the cooked meat as we possibly could. But unfortunately, yeah, we are going to lose some of that. We need to make sure that we stay on top of our calories as much as possible. We spent 5,000 yesterday as dusk and we didn't quite hit that total. So... We're going to munch down on some of that smoked meat. We'll start off with the stuff that's in the fridge first, though. There we are. And we're going to make sure that Elliot gets some water as well. But for the moment, we're just going to drink straight from the uh, fridge water. <laughs> I say fridge water. It's the water that's in the fridge, not anything that's accumulated in there. Uh, we are very full at the moment, though, so we should probably just top up our actual canteen. There we are. And Elliot, let's see. Do you still have that gallon jug? No, it doesn't look like you do. Okay, you've also got some rotten meat on you. He wasn't able to get to it in time. Um, he does also still have four inactive C4 hacks on him. Hmm. I think we'll, I think we'll let him hold on to those. You know, for a for a rainy day. Yeah, he doesn't have anything to carry water right now, so he's obviously he's obviously dropped that at some point or another. So let's go through our junk and see what we can find here. A large tin can isn't going to really help us all that much, and I know that we've used a lot of our gallon jugs lately. Yes, as we have gallon jugs of mutagen. Oh, <laughs> and then we actually do have hydration packs. We should probably be taking those out with us, but right now they are also containing mutagen. Now, we did just empty out uh, one of the tanks that we have outside. We could just put the mutagen in that. Damn, the sun hasn't actually set yet. Okay, Dusk, we do not want her to get burnt. So let's just close that again for a moment. We're going to grab our umbrella out and let's activate it just so it's not um, collapsed any longer. We'll also put on our sunglasses as well to protect ourselves from the light. Elliot, he still does okay in the light in general. And oh yes, we can check on our meat. Well, first of all, let's see. Charcoal will be done in 10 hours. Let's inspect. Okay, so there's still some charcoal left over and there is smoked meat in there. Let's go and remove that from the rack. Okay, we weren't able to pick up all of them. Let's just let Elliot kind of catch up to us here and we'll see if we can trade him some. So there's the 10 that's on the ground, I believe. And then we've got like 90 something here at the moment. So let's give him like another 30 pieces of meat. Yes, definitely a deal, brother. Okay, so uh, we'll close this back up again because I don't think we're going to get to the charcoal today. Ah, that's the metal tank there, right. I'll see if I can grab these now. We can, good. And I doubt that we're going to be able to grab the metal tank, no, so we're just going to haul that on over. All right, closing that up, back inside we go. Elliot, oh, he's eating probably, come on. And the tank is just going to sit up here at the moment. We have spare parts there. It'll go to where it's meant to go eventually. Uh, but we want to start unloading, and we are going to be unloading the mutagen. Ideally, just out of the hydration packs for now. We're going to pour that into the 60 liter tank. I suppose having it all in one place is going to be a good idea. So, yeah, I'm just going to go through. I'm going to fill up that tank if we can. Okay, there we go. I think we've got 79 in total there. So I'm pretty happy about that. Now, the hydration packs. Can we wear those... 
we can and not have them conflict with things. Yeah, our torso is looking good. Obviously, once there is water in there, it will, well, it'll be a bit more encumbering. All right, we're gonna give that first one to Elliot. Okay, he is happy to wear the hydration pack. And we'll get one on Dusk, fill up that pack there, and let's see how our torso is looking after that. Okay, still just seven? Yeah, okay, <laughs> that's fantastic. We'll just check our torso and just see where it's set. Um, yeah, having it worn on the outside, it makes, it makes sense. Oh, and of course, we aren't wearing a pack right now. Our pack is just floating along next to us. And so that means that we can just leave our canteen behind. We don't need to keep it with us. Excellent. No doubt Elliot is going to be drinking that water, seeing as he was very thirsty before. And now we kind of just need to wait for the sun to set. How long have we got? Half an hour? Okay. What do we want to try and do in that time? Hmm. Let's open up our tablet PC here and have a look at our stored books. We could get our social skill just a little bit higher. Yeah, let's uh, let's flick through until we lose light. And it took it took next to no time for that to happen. That is okay. And we can see that we are getting warmer. That's our mana luminance doing its work. Dusk is going to be just very warm in general while she has her mana as high as it is. We don't seem to be getting the light effect of it at the moment. And you know what? That actually kind of works for me. Oh boy, another foggy night. Surprise, surprise. Let's take our sunglasses off, collapse that umbrella, and Elliot, we've got places to be, my friend. So, from here, we're going to be making our way up through Epping, all the way up to Columbia Falls. We want to be getting into this subway station here, and then following that along, I believe, till this station up here. No, actually. It's the one up here. Yeah, that's pretty close to where this lab is. Here in New Hartford. Right by a great big dino zoo. Oh boy, it's uh, this is fine. So we're going to be keeping a close eye on Dusk's thirst as we go. The second that she's no longer full, we're going to get her drinking water just so that we can stay on top of that hydration. We are really not going to be able to see all that far tonight. It's just going to have to be something that we accept. And it's been a while since we checked in on Dusk's survival skill, but it is five now, which I do believe means that she should be able to ride the horses here without having to use a saddle. Right now though, I don't think we want to put those horses in direct danger. If anything, I think what we'll probably try and do during the daylight when we have our umbrella out is go and collect the horses and bring them back to the stable just so that they're going to be safe and sound. Oh, Caterpillar. Caterpillar was definitely back at home. We didn't leave the door open at any point for Caterpillar to be able to get outside, right? Well, <laughs> let's hope that that isn't the case. Well, oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I was hearing some noises in the dark. I was not expecting that. A zombie hulk coming out of us from the darkness. Now, to be fair, we did see a zombie hulk up here in Epping. Is it the same one? Is it a different one? It's hard to know. The question is, do we try to fight a zombie hulk right now? Elliot swears he heard footsteps. Did you? Did you, brother? Okay, so I think the smartest thing that we can do right off the bat here is just give ourselves some more time. So we are going to force shove send that away from us and we're going to try and head down this way and hope that Elliot is smart enough to stay nice and close he is seeing the zombie hulk at a distance he's behind us somewhere come on Elliot where are you we're starting to get warm yet again okay here he is so he's a little bit slower than us I think we've gotten far enough away that the hulk shouldn't be able to hear us so from this position we are just going to continue to make our way up through the field stopping occasionally so that our brother catch back up yep here we go and that's just how it's gonna have to go we will go through the forest a little bit here we've done it before we know it should be relatively safe I'm gonna try and retrace our steps as much as possible and we are out the other side successfully and Elliot is with us as well wonderful so we're gonna continue on from this position here till we get closer to Columbia Falls we've never been here we have been up towards the elf workshop I don't know how bad things are going to be, but as long as we can kind of just maybe move through the public space here, we should be able to make it to the subway station without encountering too many. At least, that is the hope. 
Oh boy. And okay, I want you to have a look at something here. We have safe mode turned on. These woodland whites just appeared right in front of us. Okay, a pale, stumbling, white tailed deer. So let's give Dusk a moment again so that we can get our discharge up and our voltaic strikes. We are going to wave of force these two, sending them reeling away from Dusk. Let's go enable electrical discharge and voltaic strikes. Unfortunately, oh wow, okay. <laughs> I wasn't expecting it to take that much stamina, but it, it really did. Oh, sinking our fangs into the white, Dusk then stabs it with her horns and then whacks it for 15 damage, you know, just for good measure. And same again, tearing this thing apart. Our stamina was too low to try and dodge there, and then we actually, we just heard an explosion. That is concerning. Let's turn safe mode back on again and just kind of wait. Elliot is here. Where was the explosion from? It's hard to tell. We see no markers of craters just yet. There may be a minefield out here somewhere. And, oh, well, we've got some more whites. Thankfully, though, we do have more uh, stamina as we make our first few very nice attacks. I just love all of our different mutated aspects coming together in combat like that. Safe mode is on, let's wait. Because yeah, we never want to be waiting here with safe mode off because that's how we get butchered. Okay, let's take a moment dusk to just go and drink some of that clean water that you've got. There we go. And let's just drop off some of that rotten cooked meat. There we go. Okay, so I think there was just a small little herd of the woodland whites. We should be good to continue moving, but okay, we do need to be wary that that explosion could have been something else, maybe a little bit more dangerous. The current in your hands is fading. Okay, so that's the voltaic strikes disappearing. It doesn't take that much for us to cast it though, so I'm not that concerned about it. Okay, I think this is the public space that we're near now. Oh, and that's shallow water, wonderful. Okay, let's use our towel. Um, although in saying that, being slightly damp at the moment isn't going to be that bad purely just because we're warm it would actually kind of help us cool down alas we can see a zapper okay so it's kind of in the direction of where we want to be going um so we should be able to just make our way around it um generally there are going to be things near it more often than not zappers aren't alone oh boy <laughs> okay <laughs> And we just walked straight into a firefighter zombie. Thankfully, Dusk was very much ready for that. Uh, we didn't have our Voltaic Strikes up, but um, yeah, she made quick, quick work of them. So the question is now, do we want to try and go up a street side or stay on the other? Difficult to know what the right answer is going to be. That's an acidic zombie who has seen us. It has smashed. Okay, so we're going to try and go this way now because I think if there is anything else out on the street, it's going to start making its way on over towards us. It is not like we can't handle ourselves. We just don't want to get overwhelmed and we don't want to get into fights that we don't need to be fighting. Okay, <laughs> speaking of, we have that zapper over there. Really, it shouldn't be a problem because Dusk... Well, she has her galvanic armor, which stops her from getting shocked. I think Elliot is seeing a grappler now, so I'm a little bit more concerned about that because being grabbed is never good. Okay, up this way we go, through the bushes, and okay, this is the public space that we're moving through now. Okay, Elliot, you still with me? We can see two zappers now. He is, okay. All right, we're navigating okay. And actually thinking about it, Elliot, do you still have your padded feet? He does. So, in general, he should be a little bit quieter than he's been in the past, apart from his freaking booming voice. Um, <laughs> he struggles to be quiet. All right, Elliot. Okay, let's move through this little backyard here. We've got a zombie hunter, but Dusk can handle a hunter. Let's go for Voltaic Strikes. As it gets closer, she sends it reeling backwards with a palm strike. Yet another palm strike as she bites it and stabs it with her horns. Yeah, there we go, that's good. We do need to be wary though, because the Voltaic Strikes does take a bit of stamina to get going in the first place. We are just lucky that we are using melee, and in general, it's not going to be using as much stamina as swinging around a big weapon. Okay, oh boy. So, we are seeing a slathering biter, a zombie brute, and I don't know how we're seeing them right this second. Something is illuminating them there, but it's strange. It's not actually lit up. Interesting. What kind of light source could that be? Um, 
yeah, it's really weird. We're seeing in a cone that way. So it's like dim light. Dim light is being shone from something. We can kind of see an arc. It seems to be going back towards this point, although actually bright light. So there's a lot of bright light up there. It could be spilling from something's headlights, maybe. It's possible, but that's a, that's a considerable amount of light, and oh boy. We have things making their way on over towards us. Oh, okay, did the biter try and get Elliot from here? Some things, some things arms fly out at Elliot Wood, but they dodge. Okay, all right. Um, oh, it was the grappler then, huh? The slavering biter is grappling Elliot at the moment. Dusk, let's get to work. Okay. Things are going to get a little wild now, I think. The grappler is moving up towards Dusk. She sends it reeling back as she stuns it, knocking back a fat zombie, knocking back the grappler. Oh boy, they're all around us now, but I think the other slavering biter was killed. Yeah. Elliot, hold on, brother. Hold on. Dusk kills a brainless zombie before turning her attention towards a slathering biter. It's zapped and okay. She, she did like multiple attacks then, I think, somehow, or at least it looked like that was the case. Yeah, she hit the slathering biter, the batwing zombie, and the fat zombie with one kind of sweeping attack, which is really cool. And then we have sparks now, stunned and zaps. She's just emitting sparks in general from those voltaic strikes. This is fun. Elliot, <laughs> Elliot calls out in the night as the sparks illuminate the dark. Witness me stand tall. He booms into the night. Well, if we were being stealthy before, which we weren't exactly, we certainly aren't now. We have a zombie brute that's here. Oh boy, things are about to start getting wild. That zombie brute needs to go and needs to go now. The thorny shambler is a problem as well. Okay, how do we want to try and do this? Let's strike out. Wow. Okay, and... Yeah, look at those sparks. They went right across all of them there. The zombie brute is quite damaged. Zap, I think we're going to go in for another strike. It is dangerous because if this thing knocks us against the wall, we're going to be having a bad time. Striking it again, Dusk kills it. We got an acidic zombie and a regular zombie next to us now. Or we did. <laughs> we did. Not anymore. Oh boy. Acid is starting to pull at the feet of Elliot. Thankfully though, because he's slimy, it is going to take longer before that starts to affect him. Dusk continues to strike as the dead surround them, but one by one they fall. That thorny shambler definitely needs to die as well. Oh boy, here we go. The light is on us as the shambler is now close. Let's let it get closer, get within range. The shambler moves back in towards her as she strikes it down dead. That boomer right there could be a problem for us. We don't want that exploding close by. So reaching out with her mind, Dusk will send it reeling backwards into the night. Now it's time to start to move. We've been grappled by a zombie dog. There is a flesh raptor approaching and there's a tough zombie right here. Elliot, you know, actually you're doing a good job right there. Thank you. The best use of our stamina right now will be breaking this grab. So we're gonna force shove that zombie dog away and Dusk is gonna start to strike the tough zombie and then the flesh raptor. Excellent. Now we have a lashing zombie approaching. Okay, Elliot, you wanna maybe help out here? Oh boy. The zombie dog is back and so is a zombie child. If Elliot could take that one out, I would be super happy with that. Let's see. We don't want to hang around, brother. Maybe we just stay moving. You know what? This fence here, that could actually help us put a bit of distance between us and everything else. Time to climb. Elliot, can you make it over? You can certainly try, can't you? There we go. Good job. Good bloody job. Okay, we've still got more sounds around us. The night is alive with the sounds of the dead. Okay, a regular zombie, we can certainly take that though. So, let's start to make our way down towards it. Let's see if we can quickly dispatch it before it makes too much more noise. <sighs> oh boy, okay. So, we'll try then to make it down to the subway from this side. We are going to get a little close to that zapper down there, but that's okay. We don't want to get illuminated if we can avoid it. So I think if we have to take it out at a distance, we will. That shriekling, ideally... Ideally, we can just throw it back against the wall. Okay, 
It did shriek though. It shrunk. It shrunk right before we sent it into the dark. And you know what? It might have even been the shrieker here instead. Uh, we're going to do the same thing again with that. We are going to force shove that. Uh, okay. And it didn't do enough, unfortunately. It downed it for sure because it just knocked it into the tough zombie there. Okay. Elliot, if you want to maybe show up sometime soon, that would be great. Let's force shove that boomer away. That's too much noise. That's more than I want. And there is something shadowy here as well. There it is, a shady zombie. Dusk quickly takes that one out and takes out the kid. No choice there, just had to be done. Sparks zap, crackling through the air, away from Dusk. We have a howling waif here that she quickly takes out. There is more illumination as a lashing zombie appears in the dark. The Batwing, we're gonna try and see if we can take that down, that grappler is dead. Elliot, there you are, brother, hello, hello, and hello to everything else that's here. Something just threw something at dusk, or, well, it was some kind of projectile. We don't know what it is, it's in the dark. Oh, it is a feral dwarf. And the fact that we can't see you right now makes me think that the tile set isn't working properly, <laughs> so. If you'd allow me a moment. There we go. That's better. <laughs> now let's go and send it off into the dark. Away from us, Dusk. And if that didn't deal with it, we will slam it once again. But let's get back a little bit further, just because we've made a considerable amount of noise yet again. Elliot, if you want to join us over here, that would just be, uh, that would be great. Okay, he, he is certainly trying. Are you okay? They got in a few attacks there. Or at least it looks like they tried and failed and, oh great, a zombie predator. Now, there is a gravestone here that actually has an anvil quality of one. Interesting. Uh, I do wonder if we can slam you back against that. Let us full shove. Oh yeah, it just ricocheted off of there. Did you have anything, predator? Uh, some nicotine gum and some fried seeds. Okay. Oh boy. <laughs> We can hear the gates rattling from every side now. They are everywhere. Okay. Well, that one zombie, one regular zombie ain't that bad. Although in saying that, I don't know what that is. Let's hop back over. This otherwise regular zombie's head is absolutely filled to the brim with eyes. That's an ocular zombie. And it managed to get in a few good hits on us there. So, um, okay. We just got hit from behind then. A rock. So there's another feral around here somewhere. <laughs> they are everywhere right now. So do we think that everyone that was up here is migrated down now? I don't know. I don't know and I don't know if we're gonna find out. There is something attacking Elliot, I think. Come on, stay close to me. Yeah, we're, we're being followed out into the street for now. Okay, are you all right? Your skin is losing its charge. All right, we're gonna have to charge that back up again then. So let's go electrical discharge. Our skin tingles. Good, good, good. Okay, and oh, there's still a fair amount of noise here it seems. Okay, what was meant to be an easy trip is becoming more complicated. <laughs> so let's stay on the other side of the sidewalk for now. There is a thin sludge trail here, so something has been moving around and we can hear movement over here. We're starting to lose our voltaic strikes as well, so we're gonna go and re-up that, which is gonna cost us more stamina. I'd really like to try and get that stamina back before we try and fight anything. Ocular zombie. Okay, yeah, we can see it's ocular on the map, but for some reason the name is grayed out. Elliot, how are you doing there? Okay, he's gotten a few good quick strikes. Excellent work, dude. Excellent work. Okay, let's just go one step at a time, real nice and easy. I'm slowly getting our stamina back as we are walking here, and oh, this is that light. Well, I don't know if we should be super visible when we're in it. The current in your hands is fading. That seems quick, but then again, there's no guarantee how much time we have with it. We don't see anything up there making light. Ooh, we do have a, a manhole cover here though. So we could get down to a sewer if we wanted. Is the sewer a potentially better option than the subway? Not necessarily. The subway, at least we know where that's gonna pop out. So I think we'll try and stick to that for now. Let's just hope that there is nothing else down here by the entrance. We're getting closer now. Okay, that's the way in. So, how are things inside here? We've got a hazmat zombie. That's not too bad. Our stamina is okay. So we are gonna fight it. We don't have our voltaic charge at the moment, but that's okay. There's an oxygen delivery kit. I mean, hmm, how voluminous are you going to be? I mean, it's good when we're dealing with smoke inhalation. 
I want to try and see if I can fit that into our pack. We can. Let's take it with. Because I don't believe we have our filter mask with us. For whatever reason, we weren't able to get that into our pack. Okay, tough zombie and two slathering biters. Okay, we're going to back up here right into a shady zombie that we send reeling away from us as the party has arrived. Oh boy. And we've been grabbed by the slathering biter here. Dusk quickly takes it out though. We aren't going to do the voltaic charges right now though because... Well, it's going to cost us too much in the way of stamina. Striking again and again. Dusk, we've got a little bit more work to do here before we can make it downstairs. Thankfully, they just seem to be regular zombies. Elliot is doing really good over there. We'll keep on watching the south. Let's just make sure that the acidic zombie doesn't cause us too much grief. Elliot's been grabbed, but he's got them. Okay, let's quickly check the bodies that are here. See if there's anything that we want to try and take from them before we make our way down. There's a chemistry textbook on one of them down here, but I don't think that's going to be all that useful. I will take those adhesive bandages though. Oh, cheap whiskey. I mean, it's it's tempting, but it is cheap whiskey. We can do better than that. Oh, and hey, subway map. Let's take it just in case it reveals more of the network that's around here. Okay, down to the next level. And we have one that's here, but we can definitely hear another further in the dark. And I still haven't decided whether or not Tai Chi is going to be better for us than brawling at the moment. What we can do is have a look at Brawling's abilities and see if there are any other things that we'd like there. We've got a hazy cloud. Okay, it's pretty well spread out right now, so I don't think there's anything close by currently, or maybe there is. We, we saw a Feral Dwarf briefly then. Okay, I don't know how we saw that, because we saw it on the map like it was there, unless it closed the door, possibly. Hard to know. Uh, you, we are going to force shove back into there <laughs> nice smash the corpse and let's see what's actually over here <laughs> of course an adjustable wrench it wouldn't have helped us though back when we were looking for one we needed one with two that's just one but yeah now there's nothing that we want there specifically i will quickly have a look at the um atms here because i think we do have some cards that we can transfer things to we'll just withdraw that back and oh no maybe we didn't have any extra cash cards that is fine uh, we are in moderate pain. We might want to try and take something that before we kind of continue on. So we'll take a codeine and we'll take two aspirin as well. There we go. One, two. Okay. We could also potentially have a look at uh, applying some antiseptic, maybe a little bit of bandage. Yeah. Let's just close it up for now. And we should try and give some of the stuff to Elliot, but I do think that he may try and just over use it oh i totally forgot we still had the fungicide on us we probably don't need to be carrying that with us uh let's just use some of the regular antiseptic on our torso and also on our left arm i think for now we are just going to be going with adhesive bandages it's not great quality we know that but it is going to allow the wounds to heal a little bit we'll put good bandages on when we know we're going to rest properly oh and elliot where did you go for real where did where where is he what is going okay there is some kind of hole in the floor i think i don't know where we were attacked by the zombie wait what oh okay the stair point is here i think or there's a hole in the roof right now okay time to go elias time to go close that door thank you all right weird very very weird so do we think that smoke's coming from downstairs i don't think it can go between levels like that but it is i mean it's down here there is there's bile down here there's blood there something happened here a big fight of some kind um okay i want to get further away from the station before we try and read that subway map um yeah there's so much so much blood down here i'm kind of intrigued as to what could have happened there's a blank body down here that's dead yeah let's just follow the trail of smoke and uh and blood that's a dead zombie what killed it no one knows um oh hey that one zombie all right well we can take you out the boomer we are going to force shove against the wall back there um that did something not quite enough it is still alive do we want to leave it alive not necessarily because we could just kind of walk straight back into it so let's look at shoving that back again dusk and yeah it makes noise but we're under the ground right now and we should be okay other than seeing strange unnatural creatures like blank bodies just wandering along the train lines yeah another and another 
Okay, that's fine. That's fine. So, the route that we're taking is going to take us up towards that subway station there. Uh, do we feel safe? No, we do not. That's a zombie technician. Okay, let's move down here for now and try and avoid where we can hear the fight happening. Looks like it's kind of in the direction of what we want to go. Let's just be wise here. Oh, woodlouse and a cellar spider. Of course, there are going to be a few of those down here. Okay, um, I was just going to say I think we're far enough away. Um, we just keep on seeing more and more spiders. This is fine. Elliot. Oh, sounds like he's killing things. Yeah, he comes out of the out of the darkness just covered in spider blood. Okay, so let's just use a little bit of light. We've got one charge left on this candle and it runs out immediately. Okay, that's fine. We've got our tablet PC and we've got a smartphone here as well. Let's just use the smartphone's light and let's activate the subway map. There we go. Red. And... I think that might have actually added a little bit more on up here, quite possibly. Up here in Montauk. There's the two subway stations like right next to each other. Okay, well all right then. And then this kind of just seems to stop here. So that could be part of a lab, or it could just be an end of the line. I mean, same kind of deal here as well. Oh, that's right under the dino zoo? Oh, okay. I mean, that would have us come out even closer to the lab, but... It is a lot more travel underground than I would probably be willing to do. Yeah, I think we just pop up here and then we go above land towards it. That, that's going to be safer, surely. I, I kind of feel like we probably will want to have a look at the dino zoo as well while we are over there, but um, we'll be careful. <laughs> Let's turn off that flashlight and turn on the safe mode. We're going to get walking. All right, and this is our turn off here. Yeah, okay. Let's just try and stay in the middle if we can, where possible, and uh, avoid spiders, send you away. We don't want to be fighting them if we can avoid it, just because poison lasts longer than I would like. And Elliot, well, he can handle poison, so I'm okay with him walking through there, <laughs> just listening to him call out in the darkness. Oh boy. Um, you're okay, right, Elliot? Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, he's doing fine. He's doing totally fine. Um, okay, something is burrowing under the earth here. Not a fan of that, really. Um, yeah, you can see the earth. The earth just kind of moving. Um, don't know what's doing that. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Ooh, an acidic zombie just out here by your lonesome. Seems like. Okay. Oh, what was that? What was that? Apparently a feral troglobite, but we just got grabbed by something? An unseen hunter. Okay, the light is going on. Ooh, and we can see it. Well, we can see a few things. There is a troglobite up the top there, a missile spider that's trying to flee, and there is this, an unseen hunter. Oh boy, in the dark, we can just make it out. Oh, it buries its beak into Elias. Yeah, that's not, that's not nice. Let's try and see if we can strike it with a mind hammer. So this is a magicalism enemy here. Oh, and that's a new level in Mind Hammer. We managed to stagger it. Okay, let's strike it again. Mind Hammer does use a considerable amount of stamina. And now that it's completely staggered, I really want to try and see. Okay, it's got a grab on us. Let's try and hit it with a static touch. Damn it, it got away. Uh, stop targeting it. Yeah, it's still grabbing us somehow. Let's see if we can actually just force shove it away from us. We can still make it out. The, the light is really helping with us being able to kind of see generally where it is. And wow, it, it really grabbed him. Um, that's got a considerable distance on that grab. Here we go. Four shove against the wall. Okay. I mean, it's injured for sure. It's going to start coming back towards us again. We've been grabbed again. Back against the wall. I don't think the wall strikes are actually hurting it. At least it doesn't seem to be that way. Let's just stand behind Elliot for now. Okay. We might be able to get off one more mind hammer, but then that's kind of it. Oh, we're not in, uh, we're not in range. Okay, it's coming back again. Elliot did take a strike at it. Oh, it's just healed. It's completely healed. Okay, we need to go. And Elliot did actually just get injured, which is, which is rare. Definitely rare. Oh, man, this thing's just going to keep it coming for us, huh? Let's force shove it, send it away from us, turn off our light. And once we're far enough away... Oh, that's when the hunting horror appears. Of course it does. Elliot, can you help us out here? Let's just get away from it for now and hope that we're going to be safe here. Let's check his wounds first of all. Oh, it's just, it's a minor boo-boo. You'll be okay, brother. Let's just use the adhesive and we'll also, we'll give him one of the alcohol wipes. There you go. All right. 
Yeah, the bleeding stopped. We're okay. We are going to get a little bit further before we turn on safe mode and then try and catch our breath. Okay, so they're not fun. Unseen hunters, bad. And hunting horrors, not great either. Oh, and that's a colossal slug. Okay. <laughs> oh, subways, you are so fun. Ah, jumping spider. All right, I'm gonna mind hammer you. Sorry about this, but we can't have you poisoning us. Okay, Dusk, let's move. We can hear lots of fighting yet again in the darkness. A cursed colossal slug. I, I'm guessing it's a regular colossal slug, but he's just calling it cursed. Like it's a cursed, this is a cursed thing. I hope, I hope, and oh. A veteran survivor zombie. We can just make them out shuffling in the darkness here. This zombie was once a survivor like you, and a pretty good one at that. Unfortunately, they didn't make it, despite the custom-made heavy armor pieces that they wear and the gear that they still lug around. Okay, so, veteran survivor, how bad are you gonna be, huh? Yeah. All right, we are gonna try and see if we can do a static touch on this thing. Ideally, we wait until it gets close. I don't know if I can just wait, though. Yeah, static touch. Okay, nice. Crackling it, it is dazed. Dusk strikes it a few times, and we do actually manage to pierce it here. It has a fair amount of health. This thing is well protected. Its armor is holding up, but Dusk is getting through to it. Elias, well, he's having a little bit of a breather, and it's dead. Okay, oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, the cash card, great. Disposable minor wand of mana beam. This is the first piece of magical equipment that we have found. <sighs> it's disposable, unfortunately, so I guess it can't be recharged. This item is a magical focus. You can cast spells with it in your hand. A slender wooden wand with an embedded mana crystal at the base that casts spells when activated. This wand casts mana beam. Hot damn. Okay, so it casts it at level 5. This item never fails. So, the contents. 8 crystallized mana. This can be reloaded into rechargeable mana crystals, but can never be unloaded. Well then, that is, that is fun. <laughs> Man, this leads just like even more credence to the idea that the refugee center will have the magical academies in them. Okay, so I'm going to try and see if we can put that wand into our pack. We totally can. Hot damn. Okay, so we have that at our disposal. I'm almost tempted to try and put that into our holster. Mana beam. Ah, I'm happy. I am happy about that. Okay, we're nearly at the crossroads now. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and just as we round the corner, we're grabbed by an unseen hunter. But we managed to block all the damage with our arm guards. Very nice. Let's get rid of that thing, huh? And let's make our way back down towards where Elliot should be. Okay, grabbed yet again. Man, this thing. Okay, let's get far enough away. It's following us. Again, we send it away from us and we feel a strange tingling sensation. Oh boy, Elliot is in a a spot of trouble. Let's turn on the light here. Where are you? From the southwest, okay? With the dinos? Brother, what are you doing? Oh my gosh. Okay, he managed to find some more veteran survivors. Two of them, in actual fact, which I'm very happy to see. Uh, but also, um, yeah, let, let's help him out with that if we can. Let's turn off the light, start to move in here. Dusk starts to go to work, picking up the slack as Elliot starts to try and take down that veteran there as well. Damn, I mean, we, had to, we had to do a lot of work there, but we got it done. Ideally, we get into a position where both of us can attack it. Oh, that'll work, that will work. Let's wait until it moves back in again. Dusk getting critical after critical there. Okay, let's hope that we have something here. An acetylene cooker. Uh, yet again, another big cash card. A leather armor helmet. It's poor fitting. We can't really do helmets. Uh, acetylene cooker. Powered by acetylene welding gas. I don't know why I said it like that. Welding gas. It is designed for cooking food. Yeah, um, I don't think that we're going to need it. I don't think it has anything in it. We will try and unload it just in case. Uh, no, there is nothing in it. And over here, an empty holster. Damn. Okay, well, it was still worth looking. And um, it's good to know that Elliot is going to be with us when we round the corner. Oh, he's seeing a necro boomer up towards the north now. Okay, that's fine. 
So, we know that there is an unseen hunter around here somewhere. It's probably going to hear this activity, so we need to be ready to move. And, uh, okay, that's the other subway station, huh? Alright, alright, let's go far to the east here, or as far to the right-hand side as we can, and we're going to start to move up. Turning on safe mode, we can see a shady zombie. Where? Where can we see a shady zombie? Oh, okay, I see. That is far to the north, and there is flame. Why is there flame? Uh, I mean, there is bug blood here, so do we have some kind of fire-breathing bug? Potentially. That might be what we're looking at here. Um, there is a fair amount of, uh, yeah, bug blood on the ground back this way. We can see a feral troglobite up there as well. Oh boy. Okay, let's follow that long line of blood towards the fires, and we find a troglobite who is quite injured. Do they have anything that we want? Uh, okay, an industrial ID card and a food place loyalty card. Both super useful things. Um, yay, that's really good. Okay, all right, tough zombie, let's get ready to go. Uh, we'll try and bash that body once we actually uh, get the chance. Excellent work there. A talking doll, huh? Creepy, very creepy. And something is fighting something close by. Where did the fire come from? Oh, a night stalker. Elliot, well done. Oh, he was just thrown backwards. Okay, let's, hate to do it, but let's turn on the light here. Ah, there it is. Okay, we don't see the unseen hunter right now, but there is a, oh, a bruiser down there to the south. Okay, all right. Let's strike at the night stalker. It starts to try and make its way back towards us. I think it might have some kind of a reach attack, possibly. A little hard to tell. Okay, but we are, we're in the clear, apart from, ah, another one up here. I, I see. Yeah, I really don't know what started that fire. Um, okay. It wasn't the woodlouse. It is still attacking that night stalker, though. <laughs> this is fine. Uh, Elliot can see another feral troglobite up towards the northwest, so we'll just change our path just a, just a little bit here. We're far enough away that I think we should be able to run directly into an unseen hunter, huh? Well, let's bounce you off the wall. I don't know where you got to. We're going to try and run to the other side of the subway track now and see if uh, Elliot has been able to do the same. Uh, I can hear his feet but I can also hear something else. It's just a spider. Elliot, you can kill that. Well, it's off. Oh, he was grabbed briefly, so that means that we're probably still being followed by the Unseen Hunter. We'll know soon enough. I mean, we haven't lost Elliot yet, so I think we're good. That's the first subway station there that we need to pass, and that, that's our destination. We are so close now. I can nearly taste it. Oh, okay, and a Deinonychus zombie appears out of the dark and, oh, pops on over towards us. Dusk very quickly dispatches it though. No need for us to smash it. It is dead dead. There's a lot more going on there. Elliot, do you want to tell me what it is? No? That's fine. Maybe better that we don't know. Although, maybe it has something to do with the troglobite that's up here. Just maybe. A few more good strikes there. They're a goner. Okay, this should be the subway station right here. Heads on a swivel. A veteran survivor zombie. East. Oh, I feel like after finding some magicalism equipment on them. I feel like we've got to go for these guys. Okay, I want to be careful about how we do it. We are going to go for the Voltaic Strikes. I don't know whether or not we still have the Electrical Discharge on us. I don't think we do. It would be nice to be able to get that, but it's not a must right now. We're just going to continue striking. Oh, okay. And, well, we've been lit up and we've been grabbed, but we got them. Okay, and ah, another Deinonychus. <laughs> and another Deinonychus. That's fine, Elliot managed to slash that one, and now we have troglobites charging us down as we managed to illuminate the area with sparks. And Elliot, he's not a fan of those sparks, but man, they are they spreading from dusk. Sorry, buddy, sorry. Yeah, he's really, <laughs> it's, it felt like it was actually starting to chase him then. Kind of feel a little bit bad. Elliot, just stay still. <laughs> You'll be fine. Okay. Let's smash the body there, and let's see, a tactical helmet, poor fitting, yet again another really big cash card though, bruised corpse of a Dano destroyer, well alright, and okay, another decently sized uh, cash card there, leather armor boots, and some pretty damaged uh, gloves, yeah, the pouch is interesting, I think there is a possibility that we can find magicalism stuff on on enemies like that. Just knowing that the possibility is there. I mean, it's a very, very small possibility, no doubt, but hey, it happened once, so that means it can happen again, and oh boy, 
Zombie soldier, northeast. It means that it's, uh, yeah, on the stairs. Oh boy, here we go. Elias, get ready. If anything's gonna pop down, yeah, okay, we need to be ready for it. Um, let's not get biled on. Let's do the biling ourselves. Force shove that thing against the wall. And if there's anything else up there, it will no doubt make its way downstairs. We've spotted a zombie, which means that we should be able to see one. We can't strike it right now. So it's on the stairs somewhere. Oh, and there's the soldier. Okay. All right, slick surface. Let's move back here. See if we can topple them over. <laughs> we feel that tingling sensation as the soldier lays dead. All right, nothing else there. Nothing else coming down the stairs so far. So... Let's poke our head up top. Okay, there are some here. Let's start to try and take down the tough one as the regular zombie closes in. One more good strike takes it out. Crowbar and a hammer on that one. Oh, and a memory card. We will take that, thank you. All right, safe mode, let's get you back on. We'll check the desks here. There are quite a few memory cards. Excellent, yeah, that's good stuff. And there is a full battery in here. Very nice. Okay, uh, we will probably condense our cash cards again just as soon as we see what is in here. Lots of charcoal, we may be able to try and take some of that back with us. Reciprocating saws, electric kilns. I mean, it's good if we need to do some brick firing. I doubt that we will. And I think that we probably will want to have a reciprocating saw at home eventually. But right now we don't have to worry about that. Let's just go and deposit all of our money there and take it back just on one card. There we go, 12 grand, not bad dusk. Ooh, an acid streak. So let's maybe poke our head up this way if we can. We'll start with a peak. It seems okay. And we've got two subway maps that are here. We could try and pick it, we could just smash it. Ooh, it is drizzling outside. So it's not foggy. We might actually be able to see a little bit further. I will just see if there's anything left in these machines. No, they've all been smashed. People long ago looted this place for everything that it's worth. We can hear that water drizzling out there on the street. And we know, we know now that we are close. Just across the road and down the street a little bit. A laboratory beckons. And it may not be a big lab at all. But if it has any connection to Zedra, it could have the documentation, the knowledge that Dusk needs to be able to save her and Elliot from genetic degradation. It's been a hell of a night and more of a difficult journey than Dusk might have expected. Yet she's still confident. Her mood, good. She's happy, closer now to one of her goals. And Legionnaires, it is with that that I shall ask you all. If you enjoyed today's episode, please consider leaving a comment or a like to let me know if you enjoyed the show. As for now, I have been Rykon, you have all been awesome, and until next time, stay tuned.